Embarking on the journey of life often prompts inquiries about hastening the manifestation process, liberating ourselves from constricting beliefs, and surrendering control to embrace the unseen force that steers us. Today's presentation is dedicated to untangling these queries, delving straight into the wellspring of wisdom to explore the realm of authentic identity. When I refer to identity in this discourse, I speak of the identity we consciously select and the characteristics we opt to embody. This encompasses values, beliefs, skills, behaviors, and environments. These facets seamlessly emanate from our overarching vision, propelled by the might of our subconscious. True identity awareness is intertwined with our formless self, transcending attributes across all levels. This comprehension serves as a solution to myriad inquiries, enabling the perception of ideal attributes aligned with our vision without encountering needless resistance. By surpassing these hindrances, you not only acknowledge their existence, but also feel and recognize them. It's a cyclical acknowledgement. Resistance arises from beliefs rooted in resistance. Detaching from these beliefs dissolves resistance, paving the way for a rich life guided by the genuine essence of your being. Resistance frequently stems from beliefs excessively tethered to the lower three levels, encompassing our subconscious ties to skills, behaviors, and environments, comprising people, circumstances, and information. This dichotomy distinguishes those who effortlessly flow in their endeavors from those who needlessly coerce themselves through them. Coercion is born from constraining beliefs, yearning for emancipation, a straightforward method to disengage from identifying with beliefs and sustain your optimal state of consciousness involves acknowledging your body, mind, and life experiences reflected on these three levels. Reflecting on this, recognize that the you, cognizant, and reflecting surpasses these realms. Acknowledge that this you transcends the mental beliefs associated with personal identity on these layers and remain tranquil in this cognizance. You are the perceiver that transcends all forms, an unbiased observer of everything. By transcending, I mean, in essence, surpassing the perceived boundaries or limitations of these realms. Put differently, limitations concerning these realms are perceived and exist solely in the mind particularly in the subconscious housing beliefs. Consider the intriguing possibility that our reality is a tapestry woven from beliefs, implying that anything acknowledged as truth is malleable. In essence, the power lies within us to redefine what is deemed true. Picture a scenario where an individual firmly believes in the superiority of one approach over another a conviction embodying a unique truth we can label as personal truth. Yet, beyond this personal realm, there exists a truth that surpasses individuality, an enduring truth grounded in the sheer existence of self. This ethereal I remains unwavering despite the ebb and flow of temporal changes. While personal beliefs and encounters with people, environments, circumstances, and information may appear to fluctuate, the unchanging element is the awareness of being. This, I wish to emphasize, is the awareness of true identity or self-realization. From this vantage point, shedding identification with beliefs becomes more manageable, opening pathways to explore alternative perspectives, embracing notions like this is how it is, becomes a fluid exercise as we experientially discern the existence beyond any resistance to these ideas. What once necessitated around 20 minutes of meditation to detach from thoughts may now occur instantaneously through this practice. This capacity is inherent in all of us, each with a distinctive life history leading to this realization, an imperfection that is, in itself, perfection. The act of selecting what to acknowledge as true for the appearances in life, defining what is deemed real in the realm of imagination, becomes a more fluid endeavor, and appearances adapt accordingly. However, amidst these transformations, what endures 
is the formless self accompanied by a chosen identity, comprising values, beliefs, skills, behaviors, and environment. This amalgamation can be dubbed the true identity, though feel free to assign it any moniker that resonates with you. True identity is the consciousness that observes the ever-shifting tapestry of changes and transformations arising from life experiences. You, me, all of us transcend everything we collectively affirm as true. In certain traditions, this is recognized as self-realization, the direct encounter with the self. We are the consciousness that surpasses these layers, consciously embracing a vision as truth and selecting a personal identity that unfolds through specific values and beliefs. Values and be This choice seamlessly manifests in skills, behaviors, and environments, creating a dynamic interplay within the intricate fabric of our existence. Put simply, our connection isn't with the state that materializes within each of us, but rather with the state from which everything emerges, propelled by an unseen force. This unfolding process is a pathway to self-realization, where we acknowledge ourselves as life incarnate and craft our desired reality through the canvas of imagination. By becoming aware of personal identity, we transcend it, a phenomenon we term self-realization. I previously delved into a similar exploration in a recent video, which you can find in the video description. Take a moment to grasp this concept, as it serves as a key to liberating ourselves from harmful beliefs. Through experiential realization, we go beyond these beliefs and conjectures. Regularly acknowledging that we extend beyond our beliefs aids in shedding identification with those that lack utility. The benefits of recognizing consciousness as our true identity are boundless. The crux of enchantment lies in the consciousness of being, the epicenter from which all magic unfurls. The potency residing in this sacred center manifests tangibly when we envision life unfurling across its diverse layers. This manifestation also embodies enduring tranquility. I am of the belief that the secret to an abundant life resides in uncovering the divine center within us, living and radiating from that space rather than succumbing to the external cacophony of disputes and disturbances. Disrupted peace often stems from aligning with corresponding beliefs, which in turn manifest as external chaos, desires, clamors, and disputes permeating every facet of our lives. Upon reflection, we observe the intrinsic connection of these life domains with our beliefs. Consider, for instance, why someone would engage in unnecessary debates unless they believe it yields some benefit, either consciously or unconsciously. But is this truly the sole path to reaping rewards? Exploring these questions reveals, based on our experiences with the discussed principles, that problems often find resolution when allowed to follow their natural course, unfolding in unseen realms. I'm not advocating for avoidance of conversations. Rather, I'm pointing to the prospect of a different approach. If the dialogue emanates from the divine center within, we realize that this same divine essence is present in others, here and now. This fundamental realization leads to dialogues rooted in harmony, love, and mutual advantage, diverging from conversations that breed pain and humiliation. Consider the allure of engaging in intellectual debates, an attraction often rooted in the pursuit of self-interest. Yet, the yields of this self-centered pursuit frequently manifest in the form of humiliation and sorrow. However, the genuine craving lies not in this egocentric quest, but in a deeply ingrained belief. Those who align themselves with this belief, whether consciously or unconsciously, firmly hold that this is the sole path to reaping rewards. Those who opt not to settle for mere surface-level impressions, fleeting shadows, and illusory pursuits will dissipate every transient fantasy with the illuminating radiance of the divine center. The transcendence of surface-level impressions, fleeting shadows, and illusory pursuits unfolds through the recognition of the consciousness of being.
From this perspective, it becomes evident that these phenomena are inherently tied to beliefs within the mind. By comprehending this interconnection, it becomes feasible to release them, causing them to disperse or undergo metamorphosis. The wisdom entwined with this understanding emphasizes the imperative to rise above possessions, the physical body, circumstances, the environment, and the opinions of others, along with our attitudes toward these elements. Authentic strength and resilience manifest only when we attain this supremacy organically, without exertion. But how can we genuinely transcend these aspects without resorting to force? The answer lies in acknowledging that we are already intrinsically superior to these elements. While some may choose to align with these facets, it's crucial to remember that such alignment is a matter of personal choice. Similarly, choosing not to identify is also a conscious decision. Through our choices, we wield the invisible power to transform appearances, reaffirming to ourselves that, indeed, we are superior to these aspects. Those who perceive themselves merely as products and instruments of external circumstances may waver in the face of every change in their external conditions. It's important to note that here I refer to being superior to these aspects, not to others. Understanding the beliefs that drive us to seek external validation before authentically embodying our desired selves liberates us from self-imposed constraints. Posed when we acknowledge that we have transcended all beliefs seeking validation through external appearances, we liberate ourselves from what might be perceived as secondary causes. Recognizing that consciousness is the ultimate reality and transforming into what we envision it to be allows us to break free from the tyranny of secondary causes. This entails relinquishing the belief that external factors beyond our mind can significantly impact our life. Everything resides within the realm of individual consciousness. Contemplating the intricate layers of consciousness and the depths of our inner selves reveals a perception that transcends the limitations of language, an understanding that surpasses mere intellect. Delving into the core of existence unveils a vast and intimate panorama, a journey intertwining with the subtle fabric of the universe. In this expansive ocean of consciousness, the realization dawns that we exceed the boundaries of our self-imposed limitations and the beliefs that have shaped our path. We are divine expressions, the architects of our reality, molding it with our thoughts and giving life to the vision residing in our hearts. Freedom manifests through the conscious decision to be impartial observers of our own existence, navigating the waves of time without succumbing to the currents of circumstance. Recognizing that genuine strength lies in the unconditional acceptance of our being, we understand that we are the co-creators of our lives, shaping our reality based on our intentions. The journey of self-transformation isn't a quest for external validation, but a profound exploration of our authenticity. We are like stars, illuminating not only the night sky, but also the path for others seeking the light within. Every choice, Every thought molds our destiny, carving a path resonating with the vibration of our true selves. We are the creators, the dreamers, and each act of self-discovery is a petal unfolding into the flower of self-realization. I invite you to embrace the journey of consciousness, recognizing the power emanating from within. Let acceptance and conscious choice guide your steps, allowing the vision of your highest self to be the beacon lighting up the horizon. May each reflection shared here serve as an invitation to authenticity, a reminder that the search is not external but within us, where true freedom is found, the freedom to be ourselves, to embody the purest expression of the consciousness dwelling within us all. May your inner light perpetually shine, guiding you back to your true self, to the eternal essence that is uniquely you. I trust this content has brought clarity to all of you. Remember, you are the impartial and unconditional observer of everything unfolding. From this point of pure observation, choose how you want things to manifest and accept them as such, allowing the invisible power to gracefully shape your reality in a state of blissful flow.